everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whiskeyteers. Now, we're the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. <laughs> now, I'm Jamie, your host. We have our angel here at Hipster Curtis. His son, Burn, is there behind the camera, and we have our happy hunter and Eddie. Uh, today, Curtis, it looks like we're going to do our second bottle on the series of Caval, single barrel whiskey made with Willet. Willet? Millet. 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 I look at it upside down. No, we were just talking about, we about Willet here. We miss the Willet so much. <laughs> okay, so I we thought we'd go Millet Willet. I thought we'd go to the Millet next because the what? The Millet. Okay. <laughs> because what we got here is we have a bourbon that's finished with Millet instead of you know a traditional rye or wheat. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, well let's just find out what their what their uh, whiskey is. That's made of Willet. Okay, hopefully we don't die. Okay, hopefully we don't die. Okay, we do that. This one for our guest? Or yes. Or this one mine? Okay, I think that one's yours. <clears throat> okay. You can definitely... You gave me the least. So it smells a little different. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Dude, I don't know, no, 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 we're, we're, we're good. We're good! We're good! I'll give you I was, I was being stupid. You got a long ways to go. Oh, yeah. And actually, a short time to get there. Oh, just, yeah, you're short. And uh, when do you get to the nose? <laughs> Will it? I'm, get, I'm getting. I'm getting the other half of what was in the bourbon. Are you really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of like like sweetness and corn and stuff. There's no corn. I don't know. I drink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so this good. is 100% millet, huh? This has a very unique taste. This is different. Yeah, it is. So maybe that's what millet smells like. Oh, let me taste it. So apparently, uh, they get all of their grains sourced from the Midwest from hmm. organic uh, farmers. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, the barrels come from the Midwest, mm -hmm. the stores in the Midwest, and their grain comes from the Midwest. Wow. You know what? I think some of the descriptions I've been reading have been very misleading because I, I now I see what the millet is. And I think maybe it's a secret ingredient in some of the bourbons we have and they don't want to tell you. Millet is probably a, not very often used yeah. in, in uh, at least, well, in scotch or in Canadian or in American whiskeys because really it's corn, wheat, you know, barley. barley. Yeah. I mean, that that that's what's usually used. Grown around here. Yeah, this is yeah. very different. I'm, I like it. I'm not saying I do not like it. I, I dig it. I dig it at mine. Where are we? Uh, where's millet? You said it was there. They, it's all local grown. Well, th th this millet comes from organic farmers okay, in farmers. the Midwest. In the Midwest. Okay. In the Midwest. Yeah. It says okay. cer uh, certified organic by the Midwest Organic Service Association Inc. Yeah. So I mean. Millet is, like we said, it's uh, a crop. It's a very important crop in Africa and throughout Asia. It's mm -hmm. one of those crops that is one of those subsistence crops yeah. that people use to survive. Sustain. This one, <laughs> not as spicy in the finish. Yeah. Much smoother. Yeah. I yeah. Very it's light. Quite as sweet because it doesn't have the corn in it. Yeah. Um, really interesting. I can't say it's my favorite of the group, but it's not bad. Yeah, I think I, I, I do like it. And I think it's very interesting, just like you said. Um, it's not overpowering, but I wouldn't say it's light like a, like an Irish whiskey light, but it has body, but it's very, I wouldn't call it easy drinking, but it's just definitely different. Okay, definitely different. Mm. Burn? Um, it's, it's a little bit sweet, but I don't think it's quite as sweet as the nose lets on, if that makes mm. sense. Well, they use a, um, they use a pot still. That then it looks like from the pictures the pot still then feeds into a coffee still. Mm, very so you know Irish whiskeys do the same thing. So, oh wow! So, oh, so okay. maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Yeah, possibly. Um, once again, it's it's very smooth. Yeah. Uh, of the two we've had so far, um, I haven't seen anything harsh. Yeah. Really. So I think it's, it's got a good unique flavor, and I would recommend if you find it, grab it. Yeah, you know, we all remember whiskey can be anything if it's made with grain, right? Yeah. That's so, right. so the grain doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> uh, I think it kind of does, though, for like what what you want for your well, flavor. For your flavor, but it doesn't matter if it's grain. You can make it 
into whiskey. Do you, do you enjoy it? This is a lot more clearly like a uh, um, like a single barrel whiskey. It's uh, there's it's definitely not. It's a, a it's darker than the first uh, Koval in the flavor profile. Like scary dark. Yeah, brooding like nine inch nails dark. Oh, okay. uh, no, it's it's a, yeah. it's a it's darker on the palate. It's less spicy, so it's a little just more full bodied, like a, a it's less intense more standard. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. more standard whiskey. I like it. Well, something that is a lot less intense is uh, pushing on our subscribe button, which I can right think of right the bell ding. right there. The ding 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 is his call to action to all for one, one for all. Woo! <laughs>